<laughs> it's an outlet. It's an outlet. Genius. There's also outlets down here too, guys. They're hooking us up. We just filmed a quick shot of me playing with this. Look. Let's say Claude wants to go to Twinkle Toes. Um, there we go. Guys, they have so many fun screens here. Check this out, ready? <laughs> it's like motion sensors. Go around. Oh, this is really, okay, we're done, we're done, bye. I am currently walking down the hallways, about to check out the different showrooms. And there's a camera that's following me right now, guys. I know I want to like put my finger, but like, should I? Yeah. Do you think they're gonna, are they gonna come closer? I'm about to head into the advertising room, but I can't show you guys what's in there, so we're just gonna close this real quick. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. We just arrived to our last location for the day. How pretty is this? Future. Right. And Claudia. Hey guys, we are heading over to one of Skechers' accounts, and today we are going to be building a display for them. <laughs> Thank you. Like yeah, this? That, that's what I need right there. Okay. We done. Thank you. We uh, just finished up with all the shots at DSW. Towards the end, we were just doing random silly improv things. I was like carrying a bunch of boxes, and they're falling all over me. Yeah, now we're all packing up and stuff because they're kicking us out. This like little wood chip pathway and the weather is gorgeous. And I thought I'd let you guys know. That's life right now. It's fun. Guys, life is good right now. I'm currently hanging out with Princess and we're also in the middle of a scene right now. So hopefully I'm not delaying the process. But um, she's so cute and she's being so calm. Earlier she had like her head laying right on my shoe. See, look at her with the paw. There she goes. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh my goodness. Can I take you home? Oh guys, Skechers hooked a girl up. Woo! <laughs> I need to get a car wash. This lighting absolutely sucks right now. <laughs> but we wrapped up and right now I am rushing home because I need to get to something, which I will mention in a second. Uh, but I just quickly want to say that shooting with Skechers was so much fun. Everyone was so sweet, from the filming crew to the representatives and everyone. Overall, it's just been an awesome two days and it's been a really, really great experience. They're really, really fun to work with. So yeah, if any of you guys are watching, you are lovely people. <laughs> That's like such a weird compliment to be saying, but really, everyone is so sweet. If you guys remember me talking about the show that I helped film in October, it's called Tagged. Well, basically, they finally finished editing it. And tonight, the whole cast is going to a private little screening so that we can see the first three episodes. And then I think in a week or two, we're gonna see the whole thing. I am super nervous, but super excited to see it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about today's video because I am participating and encouraging you guys to join a campaign that will help our environment. And yes, we are talking about clothes. In order to reduce the environmental impact that the fashion industry has, we have to limit the amount of waste that we're making as well as save the natural resources found in the actual fabric itself. I could not believe it when I first read this, but saving one single t-shirt saves 2,100 liters of water. This is when your ears should start perking up because every single person can make such a difference to this planet. So I quickly wanna cover what World Recycle Week is. Basically from April 18th to the 24th, all H&M stores will be partaking in a new global campaign called World Recycle Week. So within that time period, you can head to any of your nearest H&M stores and drop off any of the clothes or garments that you no longer want. 99% of the clothes collected will be reworn, reused, and recycled. I personally think this is such a good idea for such a huge company to be partaking in. So the second they asked me to spread the news and work on this with you guys, I 100% wanted to be involved. Now I know that going through your closets and trying to organize everything out can be very overwhelming and you kind of don't know where to start. So today I wanted to give you guys a few tips on how you can organize your closet and clean out the things that you don't need and you can possibly donate during World Recycle Week or in general throughout the year. Boop-a-doop-boop, -boop. closet clean out tips by Claudia. 
Tip number one is to start on one side and continue in one direction. So if you have a flat closet that just goes in one line, start to the left, make your way to the right. If you have more of a walk-in closet, start in one spot and work clockwise. My second step is to go through every single piece in your closet and mentally categorize them under keep, not in season, or unsure. And if you have to physically throw them into huge piles, that also always works. After that, I would recommend to take a quick break and clear your thoughts because you've been looking at so many pieces of clothing. It's better to wait about 20 minutes, nothing too crazy, and come back with a fresh approach and mindset. After that, it's time to go through all of the three individual piles that you made. So start off by organizing all of the clothes that you've put in your keep pile and throw them back into your closet. Place your not in season items somewhere in storage where it's easy to reach, but you don't necessarily need it at this time of year and then afterwards it is time to tackle the not sure pile of clothing it can get very stressful and overwhelming trying to get rid of clothing because you attach so many memories to certain pieces and you don't want to let go because of the feeling of nostalgia when I'm personally going through this process I like to ask myself specific questions to every single individual piece for starters is it damaged does it have any rips stains, tears, things like that. When was the last time you actually wore that clothing item? Would you actually wear it today? And most importantly, when you look at that clothing item, does it bring you happiness? Does it make you smile? Are you happy to have it in your closet? Usually by the time I've asked myself those questions, I can decide whether I want to keep the clothing item or not. In correlation to the World Recycle Week campaign, I decided that I'm going to film a re-haul for you guys, which is basically where I show you guys a few the pieces that I have personally decided to get rid of and donate to help the environment. Also, this may give you guys some inspiration or ideas of what you can donate. So for starters, if you got any socks that have lost their companion, their other half, you can totally donate them. I don't even remember the last time I wore this fuzzy sock and the reason why is because I can't find the other one. This skirt was such a trusty skirt back in the day. It's just a long striped maxi skirt and you probably can't tell from this far away but there's just a lot of limp balls rolled up on it and I just haven't worn this in so long because I have just worn it so many times and so I think it's time to pass it on. So this next one I am definitely guilty for and I feel like a lot of you guys can also relate to this issue but I have a lot of just the same pieces in general multiples of the same shirts and I usually end up wearing the one shirt that is actually my favorite out of all of those same shirts just a simple white v-neck I own so many of these and I don't need to I would rather this shirt find its second home where it actually gets to be used and doesn't just sit in my closet and collect dust and it is time to let you go guys I feel like I am losing weight off of my shoulders right now another great category to go through is all of the random t-shirts that you have. This is just a shirt from my driver's ed class way back when I was like 15 years old. Why is it still here with me today? I must have thought this was a cute memory or something, but I don't wear this. I don't, I don't need it in my life. I'm sure I have 10 other gift shop t-shirts just thrown in there that I can still get rid of. So that is it for today's rehaul and advice video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully some of you feel motivated to go and donate some of your unwanted clothes to any H&M store from H&M. April 18th to the 24th. I know today's video was pretty short, but I think it's important to talk about this stuff every so often and remind people that even just recycling one t-shirt does so much to maintain and help our environment. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys for a new one next week. Bye! Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. As I was grocery carting through Trader Joe's yesterday, I realized how passionate I feel about food. I have specific foods that I like to buy every single time I go, and a lot of healthy foods that kind of change the way I eat. So essentially this is going to be a grocery haul slash foods that I really just enjoy eating. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the foods that I buy almost every single time I go, so they're kind of like my staples. First one is almond milk. If you guys have not tried almond milk, I highly, highly suggest and recommend doing it because it tastes so good. It also has 50% more calcium. I've been drinking this stuff for 
about four years now, I would say. And next up, we've got bananas. And yes, I buy at least two bushels of bananas every single time I go because I find that I go through these so quick. I like to eat them raw over different foods like smoothie bowls, cereal, stuff like that. But 